Hi everyone, welcome to our ATEC channel for a new discovery topic. Today, we're going to take a look into a concept that will make many skeptics react. We are indeed going to talk about a flying car. When Elon Musk tweeted that the next Tesla Roadster will be able to fly, some people raised their eyebrows. He dared to even compare it to the DeLorean from the movie Back to the Future. The electric vehicle designer immediately pointed out that this was not a joke. He also explained how he would levitate the Roadster, but is this really over ambition on Elon's part? Or will flying cars be the reality of tomorrow? Sit back and watch our video as we tell you all about it. Let's first take a look at how the Roadster series came to be. Before developing the electric vehicle's propriety powertrain, Tesla took an AC compulsion vehicle as a test drive. Engineers converted the LED acid AGM batteries to a T0 to lithium ion cells. This conversion significantly increases the car's range, but it also reduced its weight and improved its performance. Despite this, Tesla was not satisfied with the results. Not everyone was happy with the way the motor transmission worked with the chassis. As a result, Tesla decided to design and build its own proper electronics. The designer looked into the engine and other transmission components. To date, the powertrain in the Roadster is unique. Tesla has come a long way since the first generation Roadster. During the unveiling of the next generation Roadster in 2017, Musk promised a nice surprise. This 4 seat vehicle displayed some breathtaking numbers. Musk specified that this Roadster will be for the fastest in the world. He claimed that it would reach 0 to 75 miles per hour in just 1.9 seconds. Following this revelation, the Tesla CEO said in a tweet that higher trim levels will be available beyond the basic specifications. And what did the car look like in all of this? Well, the second generation Tesla Roadster is a 2 plus 2 cope. What's immediately apparent is that it's a removable glass roof. The rear seats are smaller than the standard models. They can only accommodate two passengers. Under the hood, there are three electric motors. Their location remains strategic for the car. In fact, there is one in the front and two in the back. This location allows the Roadster all-wheel drive and torque vectoring in corners. This helps the car apply the brakes lightly. With better control, it remains its trajectory better. Regarding the battery, Tesla confirmed that the Roadster has a 200 kWh battery. That's twice the capacity of Tesla's largest battery to date. This one will give them a range of 1,000 kilometers and only one load by keeping a speed of highway. Note that the rear wheels are larger than the front ones. But what does this have to do with a flying car, you may ask? Well, all of this is also offered with a SpaceX package. What this means is that the car would include about 10 small rocket boosters. They'll be placed all around the car. That's what would allow it to get those dynamic improvements. However, what would keep us spectacular is if you subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your encouragement. Feel free to share the video and leave us a comment. You can even suggest a topic of our next video. Now, back to Musk's release. Since this announcement, speculators have been running wild. Could the car really fly with those rocket boosters? Musk had tweeted first explanation by mentioning the car will use SpaceX cold gas propulsion system with high ultra pressure air in overwrapped composite pressure vessels in place of two rear seats. As a result, internet users, but also online media, have started to formulate their own theory. Wired, which is an American magazine focused on emerging technologies, economy, and culture, has made a public an opinion on the subject. One of the contributors, Rhett Alina, started by saying that he's not an expert on rockets. Then he put forward that these boosters should be constantly refueled. This is entirely possible and it makes the car much less practical in everyday life. Still, he says indeed there is a way to make the Roadster fly. It's by using some type of propellant. Whether you use a jet engine or a rotor, the laws of physics are the same. So, it assumes that the flying car will take air above the car. Then, it will throw itself down. Air has mass. So a change in the velocity in the air would mean that there is a change in momentum. This change in momentum requires force, and simply put, it is force that counteracts the gravitational force that makes the car fly. What if we simplify this? If we were to illustrate what Alien proposes, imagine the following situation. To generate the volume of air needed to fly the roadster, you could use a very large fan. Logically, it would be difficult to install it on the back seat of the car. As an option, smaller fans could be used. This would result in a smaller air mass. So, based on this principle, how much energy would you need to get the roadster off the ground? 
To do this, we must first determine the weight of the roadster. It is said that the roadster would weigh around 1,800 kilos. By defining the dimensions of the surface area of the thrusters, Allian abstains of an airspeed of 190 meters per second and a total energy of 1.7 megawatts. We can imagine that a question is burning in your mind, how long can the Tesla stay above ground? According to Wire, if the flight is stationary, the Roadster could fly for approximately 2.46 minutes. But are these just theories that will remain on paper? Well, no. Musk is determined to make it happen. Although, expected for January 2021, Musk tweeted that the production would be delayed. So, we were expanding it for 2022. However, in September of 2021, Musk said that the production would be delayed again until 2023. It seems that this is his ultimate goal. And if you already want to pre-order this flying car, you should know that it is quite possible. The base model of the Roadster is expected to sell for 200000 However, the first 1,000 products known for the Founders series will cost 250000 if you think that's expensive, there aren't many people who can boast of owning a flying car, if that's the case in 2023. And that's it, we've reached the end of our video. Do you think Elon's flying roadster will be available starting in 2023? Tell us what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed our topic of the day, leave us a little blue thumbs up. To make sure you don't miss our next videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Thanks for sticking around to the end, see you soon, and bye for now.